is up YouTube is like 4 in the morning still filming videos you know you know how we do also disclaimer if you see me wearing this shirt in like hella videos in a row it's because I'm pre-filming just because I have a lot a lot a lot of things to do because I have family coming into town I may be vlogging this week just because I'm off from school and we're probably gonna go to the theme parks and everything just because my family is from North Carolina that's coming down so that's super fun also before i get started with the video if you want to hear some special announcements stay till the very end it's gonna be lit like it's about to get turned you don't understand i'm so excited this story time is gonna be a little bit shorter than my other ones just because it doesn't contain as much detail but you guys still wanted to hear it so here you go so this story also takes place in seventh grade just because i don't know a lot of shit happened to me in middle school or I did a lot of things. I don't know. I was an adventurous little one. There was this boy. Because when is there not a boy involved? We'll just call this boy Jonathan. So Jonathan was always super mean to me. Like I don't know what the hell I did to this kid. But he literally hated my guts. Like anytime I would even speak or make like a loud breathing noise. He would be like. Like you know those people that you just hate so much that anytime they breathe you're just like really why are you breathing i had a sleepover one day with two of my friends and we'll call them allison and katie katie's not really significant in the story she was just kind of there we were over at allison's house and we came up with this plan and at the time we didn't really know what we were doing we thought it was just kind of funny we came up with this plan to basically use a fake girl to talk to Jonathan and see how he reacted to this super hot girl chasing after him. I don't know why. We just did. He didn't have my number saved in his phone, but he had Allison's. So Allison had his number. We texted him from my phone. Um, didn't even do like star 67 or anything like that so if he really was smart enough he could have figured out it was me. But keep in mind we were like 13 at the time so where was our common sense like we start texting him and i'm like hey like i'm friends with so and so and they give me your number i hope that's okay and of course he like immediately falls for it doesn't even verify like how i know this person or text them to be like hey do you know this girl because if he did our cover would have been blown obviously so we made up this girl her name was amanda she was like tall tan brunette green eyes she was a cheerleader apparently she was 15 and homeschooled and just like this boy's dream he was like oh how old are you we we're like oh 15 you know oh where do you go to school oh i'm homeschooled oh how do you know so and so oh i cheer with them we immediately start talking to him like all night long just flirting up a storm and originally it was just going to be us talking to him this one time during the sleepover to kind of like have stuff to hold against him if anything came up which is terrible but at the time i was not a nice person but me being the devious little revenge seeking girl that i was decided to elongate this process and i ended up texting him back and forth for about three months until finally I just got bored and I was like eh I'm not gonna respond anymore. I was in the same class with him and sometimes he sat next to me and he would get a text right after I would put my phone away. Like I would text him, put my phone away, and wait for him to pull out his phone. So someone should have been able to put that two and two together but he wasn't the brightest starfish in the sea. I quickly realized that I have a major advantage on my hands because he was head over heels for this girl. Like, however affectionate you can be in middle school, that's how he was towards this girl he had never met. And he kept trying to meet up with her and I kept canceling plans. But eventually I made it to where he had to be nice to me to get to Amber. Because I made up this whole spiel about how Amber is related to Taylor, her favorite cousin. And anyone who's nice to Taylor, she absolutely loves them. Like, Taylor's her favorite cousin. She adores her. She hangs out with her all the time. And 
that if anyone was ever mean to Taylor, she probably would not be able to stand that person. So of course, he changes his tone and it's like, oh yeah, Taylor, like she's in my class, I've known her forever, like we're such good friends, we talk every day. Clearly just trying to impress this girl, which is hilarious. So we end up talking until about the end of spring break and during spring break i was going to puerto rico so of course i took amber along with me i just kept this entire thing going and i was like yeah we're in puerto rico you know like oh yeah i'm a taylor blah 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 like i love taylor today. when i came back from my trip he started being so ridiculous ridiculously nice to me like anytime I needed something if I had to get up he's like oh you need a pencil I got you oh you need to turn in your homework I got you oh you need this paper I got you oh you need this I got you like he was so nice to me and it was so funny because he never figured it out and at this point I feel kind of mean about it just because I've been catfished before it's not fun especially when you never figure it out so if you ever see this shout out to you sorry about you fam like ding i don't really know what else to say at least eventually i did stop it didn't continue on for that much longer just because i eventually got bored with it and i was like there's not really much i can do with this so i just stopped texting him and he never figured it out now for the exciting announcements first one obviously i am doing my january q a just because i've been trying to do my monthly q a's and i've been skipping a little bit so i'm doing my january q a if you want to be a part of it leave me questions down below in the comments or follow me on my instagram musically twitter everything under the sun you can even snapchat me questions and i'll like screenshot it so i have it and i will be answering those questions very soon probably second thing which i'm so excited about you guys have no fucking idea like i'm so lit about this I am designing merch. Well, technically, I'm not designing it, but I'm working with a company who is designing merch for you guys. I'm so excited. I have a few ideas already, but if you want to include some ideas down in the comments, that is always much appreciated, and I will be getting with them next week to kind of go over graphic design and phrases, so any phrases or whatever, anything that you feel needs to be incorporated off of things that I do quite often. I have a few ideas already. <clears throat> Hint, Starbucks Air. If you know what I'm talking about, you real. That is it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below for further video suggestions. Follow me on all my social medias. They will be linked down below as always. Subscribe for more videos. I put out new videos every single week. I will see you guys next video and stay Gucci. Drop it low, let me play that back. What?